What's going on guys? Nerdy Noofy and Big D here. And today, we're finally back with a local food review, Big D. Finally. It's been quite some time since we've done a local review. We're back in Grand Falls, Windsor. Don't forget the Windsor. So shout out to Adam Chippett for suggesting we try Wayne's World Pub and Eatery. I hope that Wayne is about to rock our freaking world, Snorri Nufi. I've seen this place a lot of times. I've never stepped foot in the place. I can't even remember seeing it. Where is it? Where is it, Snorri Nufi? The way Adam talks about this place, we're going to enjoy the stuff we're trying today. The bar just hit the ceiling. Anyways, Big D, I don't know about you, but I'm getting pretty hungry. Yup. And I'm dying for a nice local homemade feed. Yeah. Let's do this. Yeah. We just picked up our food at Wayne's World. And if this tastes as half as good as it smells, half, we're in for a treat here today. Before we get started here today, make sure you smack that like button. And make sure you hit that subscribe button. Ah! And of course, if you like our content and you want to help support us, then check out our memberships and Patreon down below. Just got out of Wayne's World, met the owner, Wayne himself. Uh, he's been in the business for over 32 years. He took over from his father. His father used to own this restaurant years ago. Took it over, changed the name to Wayne's World. And uh, they've been open ever since. So we met Wayne, seems like a great guy, and uh, I'm excited to try this food out. So as always, we try to pick a variety of things. Adam suggested the burger at a mess, so obviously we're gonna try that because we try to try that at every place. They're also known for their wings. Wayne also told us to try their Wayne's Club Sandwich. So it was like a chicken sandwich. So we got four items on the list today. We're gonna try each one, give them a rating, and tell you is Wayne's World Pub and Eatery in Grand Falls, Windsor, Newfoundland, worth checking out. And of course, we gotta start it off with the Wayne's mess. So it looks like, oh my glory, that's that like weighs a, a ton. That's like a pound and a half. Holy cow. So we got uh, the Wayne's mess, wieners, dressing, onions, ground beef, gravy, pile of stuff. Let's take a look at the treasure inside. Goodness gracious, look at that. This mess is friggin' massive. All right, let's dig into this, Big D. Get some, oh my, look at a chunk. That's not regular wieners. Oh, goodness. I'm getting a big old handful of them. Are you ready? Toast it, bang. Big old chunks of sausage. I don't know. I don't know what kind of sausage that is, but it's not like a, a regular wiener. Mm. Oh man, fries are cooked to perfection. They're not burned. Hand cut fries. This is swarming in dressing. Look at that. Look at that. Don't drop it for the love of God. Just look at that. Look at that, people. Look at the steam coming off it. Oh, I dropped it but it went right back in with the rest mm. of it. Mm. Holy cow, Dylan. There's just so much stuff you on it. You know this is good when Nerdy Newfie calls me Dylan. I didn't even call you Big D. I'm so mesmerized by this mess. Mm. I didn't even call him Big D. Mm. Oh. Mm. I never thought I'd say this, but this mess don't need ketchup. It's too good for ketchup. And I love ketchup. Wow, the hammer meat. The, the, Look at the chunks of it. Holy crapola. Mm. We just tried the mess, the Wayne's mess. Big D is the mess connoisseur. He loves a mess. I'm more of a poutine guy. Let's see what Big D thinks of Wayne's mess before I let you know my opinion. What would you rate it, Big D, and what did you think of this mess? That mess was friggin' awesome. 
is getting a full five stars. You should have knew it. You didn't even have to say it. I want some more. That's a damn good mess. Yeah. I'll agree with you, Big D. Like, usually when you get a mess, a little bit of dressing on it, a sprinkle of wieners, if that's what you got on it, some ground beef. Like, this was full, chinched full of ground beef, these huge, giant wieners, chunks of wieners. Tons, tons of dressing. The French fries were cooked perfect. That's a definite five out of five star mess. This is set time. the bar pretty high, boy. They also got this uh, chicken sandwich, the Wayne's Club. Grilled it's, chicken. It's a grilled like. chicken, yeah. It's not fried chicken. Looks like there's some tomato, lettuce, and I think there's some bacon on it, Big D. Yeah! We got your cross section there. Ready for this? The Wayne's Club toaster. Bang. Mmm, that chicken got a nice seasoning on it. Last bite. Mmm. Wow, that was delicious. So we just tried the Wayne's Club, a chicken sandwich with some bacon, tomato, cheese. I enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. I enjoyed the seasoning on the chicken. It's a good sandwich. I'd probably give it like a four out of five. What did you think, Big D? I think I liked it more than you. There's just something about the combination of it that's just such a good taste on it. When you're eating, it's like, mm, it's pretty good. And by the time it's done, it's like, I want some more. It's just a combination of flavors. Yeah. I'd give it a 4.4. .4. So let's check out the wings. Now, Wayne's is known for their wings. This is one of their biggest selling items. Some barbecue wings, you know, your basic wings. There's no breading or nothing on them. This is like classic pub food. Let's check out this wing, Big D. Toast it. Bang. Mm. I'm going to give a flat one try. Me too. It's better. Mm. Way better. I don't need to wet that. So what did you think of the barbecue wings? Good. Yeah. Good, solid, simple, pulp food wings. 4.1. I'll agree with you. Like, you know this isn't like a frozen wing that they got in the box. Like, they made these. They went and got the wings at the store. They cut them themselves. They cooked them. And they put the sauce on them. I, I love that. I love the fact that, like, everything here is homemade. The barbecue sauce was nice. I enjoyed them. Four out of five for me, for the wings. Now... For the grand finale, you guys have came all this way to see. Man, that looks messy. This is gonna be messy. Look at the size of this burger. Look at the beef. My goodness. Cross section. Look at the thickness of that burger. Just look at that. Homemade patty, boys. Nothing gets me going more than a homemade beef patty. None of that frozen garbage. You can make a frozen patty taste good. Was well, nothing like a homemade patty. So we got uh, pickles, fried onions, lettuce, tomato, cheese, and bacon. This burger's loaded. You ready for this big deal? Man, this looks juicy. Toaster. Bang. Bang. Bomb her. It's definitely messy. Holy moly. The pickle is a bit overpowering. I don't taste any pickle on mine. Mmm. We're going to fight over that one that anyway. Holy cow. That burger was messy. It was good. Can we eat the rest of that mess now? Let's finish the video first. Calm down. So we just finished the Wayne's Burger. As far as I'm concerned, that's one of the thickest patties I've seen. That's some pretty thick meat. I enjoyed the burger. The taste of the, the beef, you could tell, not a frozen patty. I don't like a lot of crap on my burger. So the tomatoes and the pickles and all that stuff kind of overpowered it a little for me. And a lot of sauce on it, which I don't mind because sometimes you, you got a dry burger and you need the sauce. This burger didn't need a lot of sauce. 
because the, the meat was juicy and it was good. It was juicy. It was still a great burger and I still enjoyed it a lot. I'm giving this burger a 4.2. What did you think, Big D? I thought it was great. Juicy, all made, simple. Like you said, it didn't need tomato. It didn't no. need lettuce. No. It didn't need pickle. 4.7, it was good. I'm blown away. Everything we tried today was good. There was nothing here that was bad, but for me, and I think for you, the mess stole the show. Well, the ratings give it away in itself. Yeah, all the items are great. The burger was great, the chicken sandwich was great, the wings were great, but none of it compared to that mess. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Today, we tried Wayne's World Pub and Eatery in Grand Falls, Windsor. Windsor. Shag Grand Falls. Screw Grand Falls. This is Windsor, boys. You're allowed to say Windsor without Grand Falls, but you're not allowed to say Grand Falls without Windsor. This has been Wayne's World Pub and Eatery. As always, thanks for watching. Stay nerdy and have a great day. No, I go to Windsor. We grab those Windsor. Well, okay. Started recording. We just finished the video and now we're eating the rest of the food. Cause we're fat all after the video's over the trolls, we left our food and all. We eat something. We don't bring it home to our family. We don't give it to the homeless man. We eat uh, like the fat tubs of shit we are. <laughs>